Good morning. Today we will be learning about sample size calculation for estimation of mean. For sample size calculation for estimation of mean and standard deviation, that means that we are estimating the mean of an outcome variable. Outcome variable is continuous variable. So for calculation of sample size, mean and standard deviation of continuous outcome variable and the sample size should be collected or obtained from previous research. Okay, you have to do literature search and uh, find out a previous research which shows mean, standard deviation and sample size. Those values are required for calculation of sample size. Now we can see the sample size calculation formula for estimation of mean value using the Cochrane's formula. Sample size is equal to Z alpha squared multiplied by standard deviation squared divided by precision squared. Standard deviation is the assumed standard deviation obtained from previous research. Earlier I told you we have to uh, collect some information from previous research. One is mean, one is standard deviation, one is sample size from previous research. SD in this formula is standard deviation from previous research. Z alpha value for 95% confidence interval is 1.96. Now one value is remaining that is precision. Precision we need to calculate. Okay. How to calculate precision? Okay. For calculating precision, we need to know standard error of mean from the previous research. Many research will not be giving standard error of mean in their published uh, published article. So we have to calculate. How to calculate standard error of mean? Standard deviation from previous research divided by square root of n. n is the sample size of previous research. Okay. Standard deviation and sample size from the previous research will be used to calculate standard error of mean. Standard deviation divided by square root of sample size will give you standard error. Precision is equal to Z alpha. I told you before, Z alpha is a standard normal variate. Okay, for 95% confidence interval, that is 1.96 for 95% confidence interval. Okay, multiplied by standard error of mean. Okay, these are the various Z alpha values for various alpha error or p value. When alpha error is 0.1, that means 90% confidence interval, in that condition, Z alpha value will be 1.645. When alpha error is 0.05, or when 95% confidence interval, Z alpha value is 1.96. Z alpha value is 2.575. For 99% confidence interval or alpha error of 0.01. Please remember this. Okay, now we can go through some practical scenarios. One researcher wants to study the level of fasting blood sugar among a group of elderly in Malaysia. From previous research, mean fasting blood sugar among 400 elderly people in Malaysia is 5.8 millimoles per deciliter and the standard deviation is 0.2. I told you we have to collect this information from previous research. One previous research showed that mean fasting blood sugar value is 5.8 millimoles per deciliter, standard deviation was 0.2 and sample size was 400. Okay, we need to calculate sample size for a precision 
for a confidence interval of 95%. Okay. Z alpha value for 95% confidence interval is 1.96. Okay. That also we discussed before, right? Sample size. Formula is Z alpha squared multiplied by standard deviation squared divided by precision squared. Z alpha is 1.96. Standard deviation is 0 0.2. Precision we need to calculate. Precision is Z alpha multiplied by standard error of mean. Right. Okay. Precision is Z alpha multiplied by standard error of mean. Standard error of mean we need to calculate here. Standard error of mean is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n. Here, standard deviation is 0 0.2 square root of n. n is 400. n is the sample size of previous result. That is 400. So, we need to substitute those values in the formula. 1.96 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 20. 20 is the square root of 400. So we can get precision as 0 0.0196. Sample size is equal to Z alpha squared multiplied by standard deviation squared divided by precision squared. So we can apply these values. Z alpha is 1.96. So 1.96 squared multiplied by standard deviation is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 squared precision is 0 0.0196 that also squared okay so we can get 3.84 multiplied by 0 0.04 divided by 0. 0, 0, 0, 0.003816. So the sample size is 399.83. We can round it as 400. So 400 is the required sample size. We can go through another scenario. One researcher wants to study the level of hemoglobin among a group of school children in Perak state. From previous research, the mean hemoglobin among 100 school children in another state in Malaysia is 11.4 gram per deciliter and the standard deviation is 0 0.4. So we collected this information, mean value of hemoglobin from previous research, standard deviation of hemoglobin from previous research and the sample size also. Calculate the sample size for a confidence interval of 95%. Okay. Z alpha value for 95% confidence interval is 1.96. So sample size is equal to Z alpha squared multiplied by standard deviation squared divided by precision squared. Z alpha is 1.96. Standard deviation is 0 0.4. But we need to calculate precision. Precision is equal to Z alpha multiplied by standard error of mean. Precision is equal to Z alpha multiplied by standard error of mean. Standard error of mean is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of sample size. So we can substitute these values 1.96 multiplied by 0 0.4 divided by square root of 100. 100 is the sample size. So, we can substitute it and the precision is 0 0.0784. Sample size is equal to Z alpha squared multiplied by standard deviation squared divided by precision squared. Okay, so we are substituting it and the sample size uh, is 99.96. It is rounded as 99.96 can be rounded as 100. Okay. Next situation is sometimes uh, the population from which you are collecting the sample will be smaller. 
or finite population. In that case, we need to add a correction value. Okay. For example, if total number of students in a college is only 600, so you have to calculate the sample size based on the formula first, then you have to use this correction for finite population to get the exact sample size required. So correction formula is like that, n, n is a corrected sample size, is equal to n0, n0 is a sample size calculated by formula divided by, you have to take 1 plus n0 minus 1 divided by capital N. Here capital N is the size of the finite population. Okay, now we can see one example, then it will be very clear for you. Okay, for example, if total number of students in a college is 600, and the sample size calculated based on the formula is 384. So, we can apply this correction formula because it's a finite population or sample size should be corrected based on the finite population because population is small. This correction can be used to calculate the sample size for finite population. I told you, corrected sample size will be calculated sample size divided by 1 plus calculated sample size minus 1 divided by total finite population. Okay, so it will be 384 that is a calculated sample size divided by 1 plus 384 minus 1 divided by 600. Here 600 is a uh, uh, population that is a, fi a finite population size or that is a size of the uh, sampling frame. Okay, so 384 divided by 1 plus 383 divided by 600. So we can get the value 384 divided by 1.64. So corrected sample size will be 234.15. So you can round it as 234. So calculated sample size was 384, but when you corrected, it became 234. Thank you.